Hey, yo, what's up, y'all? This is Chris here, another PS2 uh, favorite video. My favorite PS2 games, um, in my collection right here. We're talking about today, uh, Persona 3, Fez Edition, uh, Shin Megami Tensei, or Mega Ten, however you want to call it, done by Atlas. Uh, let's see, this, this is what, this is the game that got me into the Persona series. Uh, cause when I got this game, I didn't know anything about Persona or or Shin Megami Tensei. I knew shit about that, man. I was totally lost, you know. I didn't know anything. And I think the only reason why I even picked this up is because um, the back... I looked at the back cover, and the back cover just sold me on the whole anime style of everything, you know. Uh, this game is a 70 hour plus game. It's really long. It's uh, it the best RPG of 07. Um, but this has like a, a 30 hour uh, side quest down here. Uh, it's called The Answer. So it adds like another story to the game, I guess. Um, but yeah, this game, wow, man. This game is like. This game is awesome. It's really dark. Um, with uh, it has a very good story. The story is what really shines in this game. Like the, everything shines in this game, but the story really is what makes this game what it is, man. But this game is really um, it's like a dungeon crawler, but it just never like it, it's really addicting, and it's really like you just get sucked into the characters. The characters is what really makes you play this game, like what goes on with them and just the whole uh, character death to them, what, you know, the story. The story is what really kept me playing this game, is what I'm saying. Um, it's a really long game, so if you want to, if you haven't played this, you want to get into the Persona series, uh, this game is really long and it's very difficult at times. Some bosses are really bullshit in this game, just to let you know, man. Uh, but it's really a good game, man. It's awesome, though. And you can probably get it for cheap, man. Here we're talking about Persona 4, man. This is, uh... This one came with a, a, a soundtrack. Uh, so after after playing Persona 3, and this came out, I was like, fuck it, I'm getting this, you know? Because I love Persona 3 so much, so... I had to get this, right? I mean, it's Persona 4. This game uh, has a similar story, kind of similar story to Persona 3, Persona 3 had a, uh, it was kind of, you know, dealing with the haunted TV, this is, this is more of a whodunit game, you know, than Persona 3, but they are similar, there's very similarities to both games though, but there are some things that are different too, um, this game is really, oh man, this game is more, like, Persona 3 is more dark, this game is more, uh, it's more humor, it's more of, a uh, light humor, you know, like, white humor, and the, and the characters and everything, it, it made me laugh, it's really good graphics, good battle system, um, it's likable characters in here, like, it really did a good job, oh yeah, and I also recommend you, uh, playing the fighting game, P4 Arena, which is really good too, if you're into Persona, that is, um, but yeah, man. Oh yeah, and the freaking soundtrack is awesome. The soundtrack is just awesome. Kind of wish Persona 3 came with one now. But anyways, that's Persona 4, man. Uh, here I got Road Galaxy, man. If you haven't played this, then you need to go pick it up right now. Even if you're not an RPG fan, this game is awesome just by the looks, man. Like, just the way it looks. The whole style, visual style. Uh, gameplay, everything rocks about this game, man. And this game is done by Level 5. If you don't know who Level 5 is, you probably played some of their games. Uh, they did the Unicuni Nino game, dra the Dragon Quest games. Um, but this game, though, this is another surprise game that I, I didn't know nothing about. I just picked it up on a whim. And, man, this game just impressed me, and it freaking rocks. It's awesome, man. It's it's real time, and the story is really good. I mean, everything is good about this game. It's about this guy. He's like this Jaster Rogue character, 
and he wants you know he wants to uh, go out in space and uh you know just see the see the universe and stuff and he um he meets some characters you know he meets some people and he kind of gets his dream but um yeah definitely recommend this if you haven't played this if you passed it up this is another i would say hidden gem too uh, but yeah man rogue galaxy definitely get this i kind of wish they make a sequel of this too but anyways so those are all my games for right now i will cover more of them uh more PS2 games or 360 or whatever. Um, but I will catch you guys later on the flip side, alright? And peace.